So we are going to look at creating purchase orders in Xero and matching them back to invoices. So I'm in the dashboard here. I click business, click purchase orders. And we can see all of the purchase orders here, draft, awaiting approval, approved, and build. So if we were working out our cash flow, we could use the approved purchase orders to see how much um, how much bills are on the way in. So I'm going to click new purchase order. And the contact is Porsche. So new contact, the date is today. Delivery date is 15 days plus 15. Purchase order number, I'm going to let it fill in itself. Currency is euros and amounts are tax exclusive. So I'm going to I haven't claimed other. Um, that's the description of what I we're purchasing. If there is an item that you, if you use items, you can choose the item. But in this case, um, we will just put free type it in. Quantity is one. The price is one hundred twenty thousand euros. Probably cheap for a Porsche. Um, there is a one percent discount. And the account, I'm just going to code it to motor vehicle expenses. Uh, we just need to be mindful of the VAT rate there, the tax rate. And when we're happy with all that, we can click approve. And send our purchase order. So that was how we would send out the purchase order. Now, when the bill comes in for this purchase order, um, we can um we can match it together we're creating bills so if i'm creating bills and i have a bill to field a porsche it will tell me that there is a purchase order outstanding so we can copy it over and mark it as billed the problem is if you use Receipt Bank or HubDoc, you're not going to be creating your bills inside Zero. So in that case, um, your bill would come in to Zero, and when your when your bill comes in, you would have to go to purchase orders. So when the Porsche bill comes into Receipt Bank, we would go to purchase orders, um, click on the uh, purchase order, and click mark as built. So I'm just going to unmark it as built so we can see this. So if this bill came in through Receipt Bank uh, or HubDoc, we know the bill is in for this car. We would click on the purchase order and click Mark has billed. Unfortunately, um, unfortunately, Zero is not good at matching the purchase orders to the bills when the um, when the invoice is not created in zero when the bill is not created in zero there is a um there is a feature request in here for zero to match the two of them unfortunately it doesn't have very many votes um the alternative you have is to use approval match approval max which is uh, an external add-on for zero which will match the um which will match the two of them um has a lot of other features as well particularly around the area of approvals um but that's really the only way around the matching of the bill to the purchase order.